Hi, my name is Joel. I'm the owner here of HM Precision Paint. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how much it will cost to paint your cabinets. So there are three main factors that will affect the price on painting any cabinets. So the first factor is gonna be the current condition or the current finish of your cabinets. So as you can see here, we got one side here that's stained and then one side here that's paint. And so stain will always be a little bit more since there's more prep work that needs to be done for stain. And paint's a little bit uh, simpler if you're gonna do another coat of paint. And uh, the second factor is also, you know, you, if you desire to go to a paint finish, is how many tones of, of paint you actually want on the kitchen. So, or any cabinet. So if you want, for example, here the island in the gray, and you wanted the kitchen in the, in the white, then it's gonna cost a little bit more than if we do everything in one tone. So it's simpler and it's easier for us when we're actually spraying. And then the third factor is the actual condition of the cabinets. So if the cabinets, they have a lot of wood grain that needs to be filled in. If this, for example, was oak and this needed to be filled in a lot, then it'll affect the price and we'll have to charge extra for that since you know, we have to fill in all that grain on oak. Um, or if it's, for example, cabinets that we're just gonna paint white again, gonna freshen up the look of the kitchen but it has a lot of beams and a lot of gouges into the wood then we have to again you know we have to fill in those holes with bondo just to make sure we get as smooth and as even finish as possible so those are the three main factors that will affect the pricing on painting any cabinets so now let's get into the cost for painting your cabinets and so first uh, the way we estimate our cabinets is by the opening and so what counts as an opening is where there's a door or a drawer there in place. And we have a couple different prices for different finishes that customers want or different uh, current conditions of the cabinets. So for example, the first condition is brand new cabinets. So for example, if this kitchen behind me was brand new, had never been painted before, the price for opening would be anywhere from 70 to $80 in opening. And Currently right now it's painted, so the price to repaint this kitchen would be anywhere from $90 to $100 in opening. And if, for example, it was stained and this whole kitchen was stained, then there's a little bit more work to that since we have to sand that clear off and caulk a lot more seams. And so the price for that, and it's anywhere from $100 to $110 in opening. And now the final uh, pricing that we have is for a two-tone kitchen. Um, and I'll try to put a picture here on the video so you can see an example of that. Um, and so in that picture, you should see the tops we did white, the lowers we did in blue, and it was a little bit darker but blue. And so that will run you anywhere from $120 to $130 in opening. And also if you decided to go with a real dark kitchen, maybe you decided to do black cabinets, to make it more of a modern look. Um, then we do have to upgrade the type of paint that we use and it is more expensive. So that'll run you again, anywhere from 120 to $130 in opening for really dark cabinets or two-tone kitchen. Now I know you're probably thinking at this point, why is painting my cabinets so expensive? And so just to run you through the process, um, typically it, the reason why painting cabinets is so expensive, it's not really for the painting, it's mostly for the prep work and the amount of masking off that there has to be done. And you know, obviously the materials, and the, if, if you have to prime it first, it's gonna be more expensive than if it's already painted and we just have to put another coat of paint on it. Um, so typically cabinets, there's a minimum of three days for painting pretty much any cabinet. The fastest we've ever painted a cabinet was two days, just because of the drying time involved. And so the first day, really the prep work is masking off all floors, all walls, all tile, um, all granite countertops, and all ceilings, if we're not painting those areas. And also we have to build a tent in the garage, um, since we typically spray all our doors and all our drawers in the garage. So we have to mask off floor, ceilings, um, you know, build kind of like a tent in the garage. So that's a lot of masking off, just the first days, there's no painting done, just masking. Then the second day, you know, if it's stained, we'll come and sand those. Um, if it's painted, then it's gonna be a little bit quicker. We don't have to prime them. So we'll just come and, and start to caulk anything, fill, fill it with Bondo. Um, but if it's stained, then we have to prime after we sand, then start caulking Bondo um, and then sand again. 
And so that's a, that's a lot of hard work. So that typically takes two days to, before we actually get to the painting. And so on the sec, on the third or fourth day, we actually get to painting. And so we'll spray everything, spray all the cabinets, all the doors in the garage, drawers in the garage, and we'll leave it to dry for around anywhere from 12 to 24 hours, depending on the temperature in the garage and inside the house. And then afterwards, the fifth day, we'll come back and we'll actually clean up, start to remove everything, put the hinges back on the, on the cabinets, on the drawers, put all the hardware, hardware back and assemble the whole kitchen and clean up after ourselves with vacuum on the floor, you know, make sure that we didn't uh, miss any spots. And if we did, we'll touch anything up. And then we'll do the final walk around that same day with you. Um, so as you can see, it's a lot of work and the five days are for a kitchen like this, of this size with an island and this whole perimeter. So that, this kitchen is going to take you around five days. So it's a lot of prep work. Um, now, another thing that comes up is, should you just do it yourself? And really, to be honest with you, you know, if it's an area in the house, like a laundry cabinet where, you know, where not a lot of people are going to see it or you really don't care too much about the appearance of it, then you can get away with painting it with a good high quality paint and brush and roller. You won't you know, it won't, it won't bother you that much to see maybe a little roller nap there or some brush strokes. But if you're looking for a professional, a smooth finish, something that looks, you know, professionally done, um, then I would recommend a spray, either by you or a professional, just because that'll give you the best appearance, best, um, you know, the best appearance for the paint, finish, and sheen as well, if you spray. So, you know, it really just comes down to if you care about the finish, or if you just care about just having it painted white. So you know, that's really the consideration that you have to make whenever you're considering whether you want to hire it out or do it yourself. So I hope you found this video helpful about how much it will cost to paint your cabinets. If you did find this helpful, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any other questions or you want to learn about any other subject, whether it comes to pricing, the process, um, or different products to use. Just comment down below any comments and we'll see you on the next video.